The engine had been removed as the head gasket had failed. After repainting some parts with high temperature paint, it was time to start putting things back together. Here is an overview of the engine block before I started putting things back on. From this view we can see the oil filter housing which I've painted blue and at the bottom of that the oil pressure sensor. To the left of that is the dipstick and to the left of all of that is the alternator brackets. At the timing belt ends of the engine we can see the crankshaft, the water pump pulley and the timing belt tensioner. Here you can see the water pump housing which houses the water pump. Here you can see the NOx sensor that detects the onset of detonation for the ECU. And then the top of the engine showing the pistons. Here you can see pistons 1, 2, 3 and 4 and the washers are there to hold the wet liners in place while working on the engine as the wet liners can get dislodged. If they did get dislodged then they would need reseating. And now to the bottom of the engine underneath the sump. Underneath the sump pan you can see the oil pump with the pickup strainer and the chain drive and also the bottom of the dipstick tube. Please see part two where I refit the sump.